it's time for another Ask Paul. I'm not on my knees praying for the answer. I do have the answer, um, but I just want to show you this because this is uh, an endless summer hydrangea. And this question comes from Dawn. It's a little long, but uh, let's go through it all. These questions are about my two endless summer hydrangeas. For the past three summers, I have big, beautiful green leaves, but only six or so flowers on each bush. And the flowers aren't st uh, starting to develop until late August. The bushes grow about five feet tall, six feet wide. I normally give each bush two handfuls of holly tone. That will give you blue flowers rather than pink ones. Um, they seem to get enough water from the rain. I do water them if the temperature has been hotter than normal during the summer. These bushes are over 15 years old. Do you have any suggestions of what I might change so I can get them to bloom as fully and as early than very late summer? It's a hydrangea that blooms on new growth just like the panicle ones, like the limelight ones, bobo. Uh, there are lots of them out there. They, they flower midsummer every year without fail, but they're usually white flowers. The big leaf ones are those that you see by the shore. Big purple flowers, blue flowers, pink flowers. But for us, they're very difficult to grow because the winter is too hard on them. I don't know if you can see here, there are lots of shoots down at the base. And this has been in our greenhouse, so it's been slightly protected. So there are shoots coming up these shoots that survive the winter on the stems produce the flowers. Our winters though, if the plant is outside, typically kill them down to ground level and they have to regrow. Regrow and endless summer will produce flowers, just as you say, but later in, but later in the year. The problem being it's really temperature that is the critical factor and there's not really much you can do about it. You can plant it in a more protected area but if they're five foot, six foot shrubs, you're not going to be moving them easily. Um, more protection. You could think of putting a little burlap fence around it, but that won't really stop the cold. What I tell people is in the fall, just prune them to make them safe from frost damage. And in the spring, don't cut them right down. Look for any growth like this, because these should produce flowers much sooner. If they don't, if it shoots from the bottom, it's unfortunately going to take till midsummer and late producing blooms. I have to tell you though, I have two endless summer hydrangeas. I get one or two flowers each year and they're not, for me, up here in Clark Summit and anywhere north, I don't think they really work as well as they do down the river valley or further south. Hope that answers your question. 